in today's video there's a thrilling and interesting epi uh, episode of interviews of the medical student level 500 turn their experience to level 400 check this out hello good afternoon yes good afternoon um please can you introduce yourself all right my name is robert nagby i'm in pbl5 yes oh, okay robert and for your information he's our noble course rep. i just grabbed him from the library <laughs> so would you describe your level 400 experience in one sentence i think in one sentence i would say level 400 was an eye opener your eye was open why 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 are you saying that my eye was open to the things i'll be doing throughout my life the clinical stuff and did you like it oh i actually liked it what is he doing he's beginning to believe oh okay so what do you wish you had known before starting the rotation um what i wish i had known before starting level 400 um it should rather be what i wish i hadn't known i asked before coming mm -hmm. so i even knew too much so they asked me the the things that seem to be like threats they were the things i wish i didn't hear about before coming oh my if you you are given the chance to educate the people on the tricks of those who are here to start you have to educate them on any tips on how to start their rotation so that they will avoid certain common pitfalls what would that be okay what i will actually say to those that are coming is that i'll first congratulate them then as they are coming i will entreat that they contact the people that are already ahead like us get some slides some materials that we've gathered usually as good students as serious students some people are there they gather some slides and grandfather things together so if you ask them they'll give them to you and then when you go to start the rotation make sure you're not in the bad books of any lecturer some seniors will tell you that some lecturers are this some rotations are like this like that take the good ones but ignore the threats thank you would you like to share your social media handles so that they will follow you um actually i only have whatsapp and telegram so uh, Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please tell the viewers out there your name and a little bit of introduction of yourself. Okay, so I'm Emmanuel Don Koyao. I'm a fifth year medical student. Okay, level five hundred. Just started, right? Yeah, I just started. Okay, so describe your level four hundred experience in just one sentence. Okay, a shock of my life. <laughs> Why was it a shock of your life? Well, I expected some things, but it wasn't like that. So, something negative, something positive. So, in both ways, uh, it wasn't as I expected. So, some of them were very bad. Others were also good. So, it was a shock. Wow, you were shocked. I hope, yes, I hope that was an experience you enjoyed. Oh, trust me. I really enjoyed it. Wait a minute. So, what do you wish you had known before starting the PBL4 PBL4 rotation or level 400 rotation? So, getting to PBL5, I realized that PBL4 was actually the only time that I got to like relax because I realized that PBL5 there's no time, it's so hectic, and then going to PBL6, I heard it's going to be even worse. So, PBL5 was actually the time I had to actually relax and then maybe have fun in medicals before um, starting the stress so i wish i had known that to probably structure my time so that i can relax a lot a lot then learn as well so i wish i had known that what is the tip you are going to give those yet to start their pbo4 experience or so that they can avoid certain common mistakes you made during your rotation Okay, so well, I would say that you should know your um, supervisors because um, some people, they don't like you coming late. Uh -huh. So you should know your supervisor, what he or she wants and what he or she doesn't want so that you don't fall in their bad books. Uh -huh. It's very important. And as I said earlier, you should structure your time well because PBL4 is the only time you, you have to actually enjoy yourself. You'll be going for trips and uh, just make use of all those kinds of traits makes uh, make make memories uh, that's what i would say make good memories okay thank you for joining the medical mind today have a nice day a nice pbl5 rotation to level 5 thank you bye bye hello good afternoon good afternoon boss what's your name 
Alfredo Poku. Okay, Alfredo Poku. Um, I want you to describe your level 400 medical school experience in one sentence. Oh, okay, it was really an eye opener. Awesome. So, why are you saying that? Really? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because most of the things we learn are pre clinical year. When we go to um, clinical year, we're able to appreciate most of the things. For instance, the pathologies, how to pick some of the symptoms and signs uh, at the world. We really appreciate it. Oh, okay, you got enlightenment on your previous knowledge. Oh, okay, that's nice. It is what it is. It is what it is. What do you wish you had known before starting your level 400? Uh, so basically when you get to clinical year, you want to be at the world every time like doing some of the procedures. But what I'm here to tell you is that Charlie, it really doesn't help. Mm. It, I don't like where this is going. It makes sense if you get a lot of time on your own to study most of the things you want to know, especially the topics, the various topics. For instance, heart failure, you have to learn the courses first before you come to the world to do your procedures. Nice. I advise um, students to really not waste much of their time at the world. They should get time to look into their Oxford handbooks, their Davidson. That's where the information is. The world is better or important for you to do some of the skills, some of the procedure, but not really important like that. So I advise people to really like study. So what are some of the books you recommend for people who are starting their level 400? Uh, okay, okay. So for medicine, you can use Davidson and along with your Oxford handbook. And you can use Ambos. Ambos is an app. So if you have Ambos on your phone, you can really use it for medicine. But for surgery, you can use um, Badger for your general surgery. So you can use SRB. SRB is like it's also a book, a surgery book. It's very important. You can use it. Would you like to share your social media handle so that people are there will follow you? Yes, please. On Snapchat, it's Hustle Doctor. On Twitter, it's Hustle Doctor. On Instagram, Hustle Doctor. Okay, so how much do you spend in a week as a medical doctor? A medical student? Uh, unless I check my daily transactions, I don't really keep track of it. So. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So how much are you wearing right now? It's expensive, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? I'm Elton. Elton. So, can you describe your level 400 experience in one sentence? Um, I think it was thrilling and uh, it was basically a roller coaster ride. So, that's like four sentences. <laughs> What do you wish you had known before starting your level 400 medical routine? Oh, um, I don't have any regrets. So you think you knew everything before you started? No, I didn't know anything, but I didn't know everything, but I'm, I'm good. Wait a minute. Who are you? That's okay. So what will you tell those who are coming? Any trick or tips that you're going to tell them before they start their rotation so, so that they will avoid certain common pitfalls people go to they should manage their time well you should say something many that you are you are trying to write say something more so that you make mistakes <laughs> <laughs> yeah they should manage their time well so maybe if they have um, a calendar or um, an app that can help them organize their activities or their daily routines they can log in and then Mm. Organize. Yeah. Oh, okay, so what's that one thing you think they won't teach you in medical school, but you should know as a medical doctor? <laughs> Could be a lot. Of Just give me one. <laughs> um, <laughs> basically, I mean, if you ride a motorbike, they will teach you medical school. So, but <laughs> okay, thank you. Would you like to share some media on so that people are there will follow you? No, yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, can you tell us your name and introduce yourself? Okay. My name is Kenyaki Aaron. I'm a fifth year medical student. Oh, wow. So, Aaron, can you describe your PBL4 experience or level 400 experience in one sentence? Okay. I'll say that it was a roller, roller coaster of events. Really? I mean, a whole lot went into it. We were brought up or we, we came into contact with new experiences, you know, preclinical. We're just basically putting it on the theoretical aspects. But here, we've been introduced to the clinical setting. So 
we are applying our theoretical information into the clinical sense. So it has been a whole lot, a lot of new things and a lot of new emotions that we felt, yeah. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Okay, that's so wonderful. So what do you wish you had known before starting the routine? Wow, this is actually critical. Well, one major thing that I wish I knew about was time management. It's actually very important. Because in a clinical setting here, there are a whole lot, there are a whole lot more things you have to learn. And um, if you don't really plan your schedule or like you do everything at a set, at certain times, you really end up learning nothing. I mean, you can come to the hospital, do a few stuff, but you might end up doing nothing throughout the day. So if you don't really plan your day well, you don't really learn anything. So time management is very very important. Okay, wow, that's me. I've learned something. So. Can you tell us or give those who are here to start at level 400 experience a tip or a trick so that they could avoid certain common pitfalls? Okay, so basically, well, you have to stay organized. I mean, you don't just wake up and come to the hospital, do like you don't actually plan your day. So it's very important to plan your day. I mean, you have you have to know what you are you are you are supposed to do throughout the day. Maybe certain topics that you're supposed to learn. You have to really plan it that well so that you don't pile stuff up at the end. I mean, <laughs> if you pile it at the end, unlike pre clinical here, the, the things you're supposed to learn are so much, they're so voluminous. So if you pile it up, it will really go against you. So you have to stay organized, at least at the end of the day, know, have certain things that you have completed. Uh -huh. And also, secondly, um, you have to have time for yourself. I mean, because if you want to be learning, 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 you really stress so much. Some of us are falling sick through, um, in, in, during the rotations because we are sometimes really stress ourselves. We put too much effort into the things you do. So at least once in a while, take yourself out. Or if you have a gang or something, go out, chill, at least relax more. Let your mental health, put your mental health as a priority. Because Charlie, it's, it's not easy, but you have to really have time for yourself. So... And lastly, to about the time management is so very important. So, yeah, you, that, those are the few things that I have. Perfect. Have a wonderful PBL five rotation. Thank you. Thank you much. for joining us. Bye bye. Hello, what's your name? I'm Asante Despo. And what class? Level five hundred. Want to follow me? Come to the teaching hospital. Look at this one. <laughs> Describe your level 400 medical experience in one sentence. In one sentence. Well, it was fair. It was fair, like me. If you want to take it like that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you wish you had known before starting your level 400 rotations? Oh, well, you know, most at times, if you are about to start something new for the first time, you have to, you know, try to find out from those who have done it before in order mm -hmm. to know the do's and don'ts. So basically, so that anything you come across will be very you know, new and familiar to you. So I cannot say like there's nothing I didn't wish so I, I wish I knew. Mm. Everything went on just as planned. <laughs> just that maybe a settling and then you no know, those weeks of you no know, extreme uh, school school uh, activities. That's what maybe if I had planned a little bit more to have maybe helped me win one or the other. But you know altogether it was it was okay. Nice. Okay. So what what is any tip or tricks you are going to give to those who are starting the level 400 experience so that they will, they will avoid certain common pitfalls. Oh, for those starting now, oh, my advice, you know, you, you try to plan your time very well because very necessary, especially when you start doing those surgery and internal medicine rotation, that are very packed. You need to schedule your time very, very well because if you don't do that, you know, at the end of the day, during the exam week, everything will now be, you know, too much for you to contain so you have to try to schedule your time and plan just at that thank you <laughs> Why <laughs> you look like a rich guy? So how much do you spend ah. in a week? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good afternoon. This was your name. I'm Asante this one. So uh, that's as a hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Ahaba. Yeah. Hurry up. 